We're back to Cougar Paws. I'm your host, Michael Dawes. We're talking about the uh, Foundation Sporting Clay Shoot that's going to be happening April 18th at Lasadas. And uh, uh, Gary Burke is one of our sponsors. He actually was a participant last year. Gary, I assume you're going to be participating again this year. I am. In fact, uh, uh, last year, Michael, I brought my grandson, Tanner, with me. He just loves guns and shooting and stuff, and that's kind of what perked my interest in addition to being on the foundation board, which is a responsibility I have. Uh, but it was just a unique uh, it was just a new, unique situation to get together with my grandson and go up and have a day with the guns and shoot some clays. I had never done this clay sporting shoots before, and uh, neither had he, and we just had a great day. Uh, it was a fun time. And I think the thing about this is uh, there are lots of fundraisers for different community activities and so forth. And, and uh, there's golf tournaments and, and those so forth. But this was a unique event that was out, outside in a good time and uh, well attended. I, I saw everybody that last year uh, smiles on their faces. The competition was great. People were enjoying themselves, had a good fellowship with everyone. And as Darnell uh, said earlier, uh, it was a chance for the college to uh, make some new acquaintances, some new friends. And uh, I, in fact, I got to meet some people I didn't know before. So it was just a great day. You know, I don't know how many uh, either grandfathers and, and, and young kids or dads and young kids were out there shooting, but it's a great opportunity for them to, to bond in that regard because obviously hunting and, and shooting is such a big part of our way of life here in, in these parts. So. One, yeah, gentleman, one gentleman brought his uh, daughter and daughter-in-law, and neither one of them had shot. And boy, they want to come back this year. They thought it was kind of fun and a new experience. And you can bring your wife or spouse, whatever, they can come up. And uh, we had quite a few just watchers, and they ate lunch with us. They can just buy a ticket for lunch for $10. And so they sit around. And as far as uh, fundraisers, it's I do all my work, and my staff does all their work above or before time. And it's just a day for me to get to visit with people and... Uh, uh, just see what's going on. It's it's just a neat, neat thing. Uh, we had we were able to give 12 mini grants last fall. Uh, every fall, then our um, instructors make a proposal, and our foundation board committee looks through them and they decide what they want to uh, do. And so that's a great thing. And it, again, it goes back to our students. If they if we can give them something that they can enhance the learning in their classroom, that's a benefit to our students. And that's why the foundation is here is to help the students in the college. So. Yeah, and I know uh, the first year you guys were able to, from the money that was raised, give seven mini grants. So in that two-year span, a lot of uh, help has been uh, given to those uh, faculty. And the great thing about this, no matter whether the economy is up or down, uh, as with endowments, this one you can count on every year, as long as the participants come out, that you're going to be able to do something for the faculty, which ultimately benefits the students. Well, I had so much interest last year, of course, I had to brag whenever I went out to any professional development, I had to brag about how good this clay shoot was turning out, that we ended up deciding we better trademark our logo, because I had so many people. I had one from Mississippi, one from Missouri, one from uh, New Jersey call me and want to know how we set this clay shoot up. So I went out and just had our, our logo trademarked. So now they can't use that. I'll give them all the ideas because they're not in competition. So now, Smitty, this will be your first time competing, right? For right. This That's particular correct. clay shoot. But you, you're a veteran at uh, shooting sports. And, well, and not I, much shooting, sh shooting sporting clays. If I get up there two or three times a year, I'm doing good. I'm more of a pistol and a rifle shooter. But uh, it's interesting you talk about how this thing has progressed. Uh, when the flyer was in my office, uh, my son works with me, Chris, and uh, there was another gentleman that's in the oil field, and he says, well, I want to do that. And he says, well, Chris, you'll be on my team. So he put a team together. And uh, that's kind of how it just it just started, you know. And that's how when Gary uh, visited with me, it's, that's the way it starts. And it just, I can see this thing getting bigger and bigger every year. Well, you know, I shot, I shot last year and had my grandson there. This year it's going to be three generations. It's going to be grandpa and my son and my grandson. So there's three of us and we're going to shoot together as a team. So we're looking for a great, great day and, and a, lot of, a lot of fun. Well, and because you're our good sponsors and our major sponsors, we hope you get a lot of publicity and people realize that you're donating to the college. And so hopefully they will show you support in other ways too. I have uh, two grandsons, one one eight and one and one twelve, and uh, they both have new twenty gauge shotguns. So they're already they're wanting to go up also. So we're they'll probably be up there too. So it's it's a great thing. It's uh, it's good family fun. 
Well, and they still have time to go to church. Those that want to go to church at Sunday morning, uh, they can do that, and we want them to, and then they can drive up. It's only 40 minutes. They can drive up and have a nice afternoon and still be back with their family in the evening. So... And I might mention the uh, entry uh, fee for that is $50 and uh, does not include shells, but you can actually uh, purchase the shells from Lasadas. So uh, that works out real handy as well. Uh, Darnell, when you uh, thought about putting a, uh, the clay shoot together, obviously golf t uh, tournaments are, are far and wide, and that seems to be what most people do. And you kind of went off on a different path. Uh, not really sure what that would uh, bring, but uh, looking back, it was the right decision, I guess. Yeah, exactly. I kept thinking about what we wanted to do for a fundraiser, and I thought, here we are, the, the best pheasant season uh, in the United States, and think of all the people out of state that come here to shoot, and I, I was thinking about the wetlands, the Cheyenne Bottoms. I mean, we are just prime, so you know there have to, has to be a lot of people that are interested. I was a little uh, concerned until I brought back the idea to my board, and my board just sat there and said, well, let's do it. We can do it. So uh, it's just been a real advantage to us. Well, one thing that uh, I'd like to say real quick here, people need to understand if you've never been involved in the shooting sports, a, um, a, a place like Lasada is the place to start. You have the proper people there, the proper training. They're going to work with you. Uh, the safety. Safety is, uh, they'll have safety meetings. That's safety's first. And it's just a good place to get your feet wet in sporting clays. Okay, so anyone that wants to participate in this fun event, uh, contact Lasadas. And uh, that's, again, going to be April 18th. It's $50 to get in and have a good time uh, and a great meal. So uh, with that, I thank you, Darnell. I thank you, Smitty. I thank you, Gary. And uh, we're going to uh, close.